guys welcome back or welcome if you are new so welcome to my closet <laughs> for today's video I wanted to do something kind of fun now for me I love looking at fashion inspiration videos photos you know reels things like that on Instagram and so a lot of times I'll kind of like screenshot an outfit that I really think is cute but I'm not quite sure how it will look on me or if I could even recreate that outfit from what I have in my closet. So today I am challenging myself to see if I can recreate some of these outfits without buying anything new. Now some items that I pull from my closet might be extremely old so I won't be able to link it or I might not even remember where it came from. Some items might be newer purchases, and if they are, I will definitely link them. So that's what I'm doing today, you guys, just for reference um, with these different videos that I'm doing now, playing in clothes and fashion. I am 5'7". I am on a weight loss journey, so I'm kind of teetering down from a 16 into a 14 now and kind of like wearing larges and things like that as opposed to extra large. But I'm still wearing some of my older clothes, you know, if they still fit or I like the, you know, the way they hang. But anyways, that's just for reference, okay? So yeah, I went ahead and I selected a few of the photos. I will put them here on the screen that I do want to try to recreate the outfits out of my own closet without shopping. So of course they're not going to be identical. I'm just kind of using these outfit ideas as inspiration, as a reference, a starting point, because for me, I'm not a fashionista. So although I do know how to match colors and complement different items in my closet, I don't really know how to always put them together to where they look really stylish or chic and things like that. So I love looking at these inspo photos to kind of help me out. So that's what we're doing today. I picked some that I thought were relatively easy that I actually do have similar items in my closet to choose from. And <laughs> you guys can go ahead and judge. Let me know how I did. Don't be too harsh, okay? This is my first time trying this, and I really want to just have some fun. So let's go ahead and jump right into this first outfit. Okay, you guys. So for this first outfit, as you can see, the model has on some baggy cargo pants, which are camo. Very, very cute. That's what really drew me to this outfit. Now, as you can see, I don't have any wide leg, super baggy cargo pants, but I do have these that are camo very comfortable patterns a little bit different but it's the same basic idea now she did go ahead and pair these super cute cargos with a cute little red bag i do not have that same bag of course but i do have this red bag from amazon that i picked up and it is basically about the same size same shape so I did go ahead and pair it with this outfit. Now these cargo pants, I believe I got from Fashion Nova. I've had them for a couple of years now. You know, the camo cargos never really go out of style. So yeah, I've had those. In a minute, they're going to be too big though. So for the top, I don't know who told me to choose an outfit with a crop top. Because child, I am not in my crop top era and probably will never be. <laughs> but... I felt like it would be okay to go ahead and pair a full, you know, white tank top. This is one of the cute little muscle style tank tops that I got from Target. Extremely comfortable, extremely affordable, and they're great quality. I did go ahead and pair it with these sunglasses. Now, I don't have the bold frame shades that she does, but I did pair it with some short heeled uh, red sandals as well, just to kind of get the same vibe, same look. So I think these shades go cute with this outfit, pulls everything together. I really, really like these red shoes with the red bag and the camo. Definitely would never have paired this together, but I think it looks so cute and so chic. So I'm glad that I recreated this look. I would definitely wear it out. So for this next look, you guys, uh-uh, this is not me, not my style, not my vibe. I don't really wear slides, so that was just a first no for me. <laughs> now the outfit inspo is so cute. I love the green blazer, you know, pairing it with the simple black bodysuit and the, 
you know, light wash denim jean shorts. I think it's just, it looks really, really cute in the picture. But on me, it's not something that I would typically, you know, gravitate to. Now, the shorts I have on are some of those new style, what is it, crisscross um, in the front. So I really like those. Those are cute. I did pick those up from Amazon. I got the green blazer from Amazon. As you can see, I paired my outfit with just a simple black coach bag. The slides I got from Shein. And the bodysuit, I believe, I got from Amazon as well. So I will definitely link everything that I can for you guys. But yeah, although it is a cute outfit, um, and it's not like it looks horrible on, I think I would definitely wear some different shoes because they're not really my style. Um, and maybe some looser shorts, some that are a little bit more baggy on me. Um, and then maybe I would feel more comfortable. I would like it, but I just don't see myself as the blazer and bodysuit and flats type of girl, even though when you put it together, it's actually really cute. Just not really my vibe. Now this next outfit, as you can see, um, they did pair it with a pair of white basic thick chunky tennis shoes when I put them on me I didn't really care for how they looked not the white ones it kind of gave me this nurse Betty type vibe and I wasn't really feeling it so I did go ahead and switch those out for some tan tennis shoes that I have I believe these are Pumas they still have the chunky you know wedge bottom um, and I think they just match better with this outfit. So I came as close as I could with the color story. I did go ahead and pair it with another one of my Target tank tops. I do love this color. It's a really cute taupe. Now the white button down that I have on is a very, very thin sheer button down that I got from Amazon because I felt like, you know what, it's kind of hot right now. I don't want anything heavy. Now this denim skirt has, mine has buttons on the side so you can't open it and create a split. I did pick that up from Shein so if I can link that I will. And I did pair it with this cute little wicker purse that I picked up from Amazon and these shades are from Amazon as well. Now the belt that I have is a little bit darker. I felt like it would be okay with me changing the shoes out to a darker brown. And I think it's a really cute outfit. Once again, it's something that I probably would never pair together. It's quite a lot of clothes, in my opinion, you know, with the shirt on top of the shirt and the jean dress and, you know, the belt and all that. It's a lot going on, which is not really necessarily my vibe of layering. But I think I might go ahead and play around with layering more now because just seeing different outfits put together... I'm actually kind of liking it. So I just kind of have to find my own vibe, my own style, what I do and don't like. This was a bit much for me and the tennis shoes were a bit chunky, but I think if I find my own style, I can really create this look to fit me better. Now this next style, I actually really like. This is something that I definitely would wear, would have paired myself. Um, just a simple halter blue jean dress. I love the inspo pick. Um, mine is a, little, is a little bit lighter. I did grab mine from Shein, I believe. Either Shein or Amazon. I will link it. And the boots, I went with a chunkier heel. I do have a black boot that has a, a stiletto heel like that, but that's not something that nowadays I would probably wear. So I did choose a chunkier heel. I did grab this like, uh, what is it, kind of like a leather, a little leather moto jacket from Amazon, I believe, quite a long time ago. It's very cute, very light. It's not anything super expensive. Now this dress is very, very stretchy. As you can see, I probably could have sized down if I wanted it to be more fitted because it is very stretchy with all the ruching. But it's really cute. It helps to camouflage some of those areas that you might not want to be you know shown too much I did pair it with my little dupe bag that I got from Amazon I did show that in my Amazon bag and purse video if you're curious about it but I will link it again if it's still available and these boots I got from Amazon as well so this is like a whole Amazon outfit unless the dress is from Shein most of my shades I do grab from Amazon so if 
I can find the links for the shades as well. I will link those. But yeah, this is definitely an outfit that I would actually wear out, you know, just going out probably with hubby, you know, to grab a bite or just kind of run around. The shoes, the boots are extremely comfortable. So don't have to wear, worry about wear, wearing those all day. So love that one. Now for this next outfit, <laughs> I wasn't quite sure. I knew I had a zebra print shirt, but I didn't realize that the shirt really was like a pullover shirt. But same vibe, you know, same concept. So I decided to go ahead and stick with it. Now in the inspo, you can see it has a tie up in the front. Mine does not. And it's just a basic bodysuit that they have here in the photo, which I do have on a basic bodysuit. I didn't have any chunky thong flip-flops like in the inspo pick, but I do have these cute little slides that have a big bow on top. I actually have it in several different colors and I love them. I actually never wear them. So yeah, it was kind of fun pairing them with this outfit. So yeah, it's really just a body shaper suit that I have on and I love this zebra print shirt. As you can see, it's extra stretchy. It's see-through, so it's very comfortable and cool for all seasons. Now, I did go ahead and pair it with this dupe bag that I have. I believe that's a dupe, what is it, a dupe Fendi, I think. Instead of the shape that they have, I can pair that bag with all kind of different outfits. So I decided to go with this different shape of bag. Now, typically, this is not something I would wear. I would never just throw on a bodysuit and run out the door you know, with a top on top of it. But, you know, actually it's quite comfortable. Um, Very, very easy, simple look. And I think for me, since I am self-conscious of my stomach, I do have a pouch after having two kids and a C-section and it just never going away. Um, Yeah, I would probably wear a top that is a little bit longer, you know, just to kind of camouflage that a bit more. But yeah, this is super comfortable. I think it's super chic and cute. You can kind of mix it up with the shoes that you want to wear or the top. You know, you can wear any type of button down um, top with this that you want. Any color, any pattern, any style. And I think that you'd be good to go. So yeah, once again, something that I never would have paired together on my own. And I'm really glad that I did take a chance and try out this outfit because I think it's cute, comfortable, perfect for running errands or just being out and about. Now this outfit I feel like was the easiest. <laughs> Extremely simple, basic, black dress, spaghetti strap, black dress, sundress. Most of us have one. If not, you can find it on any, you know, any store, Target, Shein, Amazon, you know, just a basic black sundress. And I have several different jean jackets. I chose to pair it with this one because I thought it was very cute and different. Now the shoes, I was really excited because I actually have shoes that are, you know, pretty much identical to that uh, style. But yeah, with this jacket, it has like puffy shoulders. It has a bit of a different type of fit. The only thing I hate is there's no pocket. So that's quite annoying. But I did grab it from Amazon. I don't know if this would be the best way for me to style it. I just wanted to try it out with this dress. And I think it's kind of cute. So with the bag, that bag is actually a cute little back, black bag I got from Target. The shades, I'm sure I got those from Amazon. Just a simple black pair of shades. And that's it. I mean, this was like the easiest quickest, simplest outfit, I think, that I could have tried out today. And it's definitely something that I would pair together myself. Now with this bag, it does have a long strap inside if you want a longer strap. I love this bag. The quality of it is just, it's so super cute and sturdy from Target. They had some different colors. If they still have it, I will link it. But yeah, that's it. I think I pretty much kind of nailed this outfit, to be honest with you. I could switch out the jacket, but I really like it. Very simple, very basic. So that's it, you guys, for today's video. I hope you guys had fun watching me try to recreate these different outfits that I really, really thought were cute. 
and it's really interesting putting them on myself I kind of, you know, had a different feeling of some outfits, some things I would never pair together, would never have even thought of putting on. And I was like, oh, this is really cute. And then some items that look good in a picture, but not necessarily on me. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know how you would kind of, you know, say I did on recreating these looks. Some of them I really liked some of them not so much but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles